Hey everyone, I recently made this fractal noise plugin for Photopea, so uh, the reason I did this is because I really hate the clouds filter. Like, technically, you can get a lot of different kinds of variations with this, but if you see, all of the variations look about the same. Like, they have the same style, since it's one click of a button. You can't really customize it or anything. Uh, so, even if it has a lot of different variation, it doesn't really mean much. So, I made this Fractal Noise plugin, which in which I hope to fix that issue by giving several customization options. So, if you don't see this in your right panel, you can just do Window More Fractal Noise to open the plugin. And, uh, yeah, so we have some different options, which are base frequency, just kind of changes the size of the noise, or the scale, if you will. There's type, where you can just choose between the cloud style and the energy style. There's octaves, where you can take away some of the detail or add more detail. Right now it looks like it's just blurring it, but it actually maintains uh, more information this way by lowering the octaves than blurring. Uh, this will become a lot more apparent when you see energy. You still see the visible strands. It's just that there aren't as many, whereas if you blurred it, uh, the strands would kind of blow out, wouldn't look very good. Anyhow, there's also seed, where you can just change the random seed. There's tiling, you can choose whether you want it to tile or to not tile. Yeah, there are a bunch of different cool effects you can make with them. Uh, I'll just show you. Uh, some of the ones that I really like. So if we make this uh, Y dimension of the base frequency zero, we kind of get we kind get these vertical scan lines, which are cool. We can add to document. Then if we apply some, let's close this. If we apply some polar coordinates. We get this really cool starburst effect. Let's add a gradient fill, a radial going white on the inside to black on the outside. Set its blend mode to maybe something like overlay. Then we can use some levels to finish off the effect. Maybe if we set this gradient fills blend mode to multiply. Some like that. Just a really cool starburst effect that you can make out of this. So another one that I like is uh, fire, which is really cool. If we decrease the X component of the base frequency, th but the Y component a lot more, then we'll have a kind of stretched effect. Get something like this. And then add to document. Now we can add a gradient fill, uh, 90 degrees just such that black is on top and white is on the bottom. Then we set this thing as blend mode to overlay. See, we're already kind of get a, starting to get a fire look. But now if we add hue and saturation to just decrease the saturation all the way, and then add some saturation back ourselves, or add some color back using color balance. Like if we increase the reds in the shadows, duh 
increase the greens in the highlights and in the midtones decrease the blues maybe increase the reds something like this you'll see that we get uh, pretty cool looking fire maybe we can add some curves to just finish this off and we can actually animate this fire effect uh, if you select the fractal noise layer and then use offset just like decrease the vertical offset and it looks like it's actually a live fire which is cool but uh, another thing we can make is bokeh if we just decrease the base frequency some like this add to document then just use levels to kind of isolate only the brightest areas to make it look a little like confetti just little flakes of noise maybe I can fine tune this then now I can add the maximum filter with the shape circle and it starts to look like a bokeh effect soften this up a little I'll add box blur all right you see that we made all of those uh, effects really quickly with the fractal noise plugin uh, but those are just some easy ones there is so much more you can do with the fractal noise plugin uh, for example last week or maybe not last week but some time ago I made a tutorial on the uh, lightning effect in which I used the clouds filter uh, I'll challenge you all to do the same thing with the fractal noise plugin and maybe make it something make something better out of it who knows all right I hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, I hope you like the Fractal Noise plugin, and uh, I hope to see you next time.